All right, so this is going to be a fan fiction idea. I think would be pr it would be pretty cool um, to see, and we were apparently going to be actually going to get it at one point, but apparently it all fell through. I can't really confirm this, but apparently a lot of rumors and uh, whatnot was going to say that we were going to actually get a Star Wars DC Universe crossover at one point. Uh, but apparently what killed it was a few things of, like, one being Fox and Lucasfilms not having a negotiation, and also Disney buying Star Wars. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's also kind of funny if that is true. Both um, Fox, Lucas, are both under Disney now, and <laughs> they, they like, Fox and Lucas could not come to an agreement with um, uh, Warner Brothers. So yeah, it's also why we uh, why we never got a um, alien Star Trek crossover, and that was going to happen. I actually reported on it. I was like, alien Star Trek, uh, alien Star Trek Next Generation crossover. We were going to get that, and then Paramount and Twentieth Century Fox fucked it up. Probably because of the buy. Actually, I think it was because of the Disney buyout. So Disney ruins a lot of good things. What can I say? <sighs> anyway, so here we are. Uh, Star Wars, uh, the a Star Wars Justice League crossover. So let's get started. So, yeah. Um, so Star Wars Justice League, how I kind of imagine this crossover is that... Um, what it, it, I would say, this is basically set during the OG trilogy. I would, uh, like, if I, uh, like, honestly, I it's going to be set in between... Uh, Empire and New Hope. So we got that three-year gap. So in here, what is going on is that um, the Justice League have um, be, have uh, been tracking a series of parademon sightings across Earth. What is going on is that um, the parademons are building a are building certain like these spires in secret under Desaad and Calabac's um, eye. Essentially what's going on is that these spires are going to open a gateway to a to another universe that um, Darkseid has been in, has been reaching out with. Darkseid uh, Dark and the and the new gods can are like outside the multiverse. So what's been going on is that Darkseid has been um, more or less looking into the multiverse and has found this universe that he that he's connected with, and that person he's connected with is Emperor Palpatine. Palpatine, of course, has a lot has tons of connection and power over life and death. As such, it's uh, Dark Side believes that the power of the Force is a form of the dark, especially the dark side of the Force, is a form of the anti-life equation. So. Yeah, Darkseid wants to get to the Star Wars universe. And sure enough, uh, these spires open up and allow the just uh, And just as Darkseid enters with his forces... Um, and the reason why they did it on Earth was because the... Because uh, Earth in the DC universe is the center of the multiverse. So Darkseid was like, A, I get to fuck over Earth. I get to damage Earth a bit. B... I, you know that will give me the power I need to punch a hole into the into the other into this other universe I'm going to and see fuck y'all I'm dark side so dark so the Justice League arrives just as dark side activates his machine and punches a hole into the Star Wars universe he goes through but there was only, there's so much damage going on around the world the Justice League are like fuck we can't follow him not all, well not everyone can follow up him so we it can only just be the seven of us so it can only just be seven uh, you know only a good number of us can chase after him so while the rest of the league and other dc superheroes go to fix the damage that was left behind by dark side's machinations superman batman wonder woman green lantern hawk girl um hal jordan green lantern by the way um hawk girl uh Captain, Mar you know, Shazam, and, uh, who was the, oh yeah, Martian Manhunter, 
uh, all get through to the other side. Like those got, they managed to get into the. Uh, they go to the other this other universe, and essentially, they immediately are like, oh. This is not like... Because they're so used to going to other universes that are like theirs. This is vastly different from theirs. Because the first thing that happens is that the team is immediately greeted by um, de Star Destroyers who are waiting for to pick up Darkseid. So Darkseid just says, kill him. So the, so the Star Destroyers, just uh, the Empire just unleashes all these forces on the, on the Justice League... Thankfully, it's the Justice League, so these guys put up a fight. Meanwhile, Darkseid is like, I'm going to go to Coruscant to meet with the Emperor. Um, and, yeah. So the Darkseid gets away. The Justice League fight their way past the Empire with help from, uh, with help from Luke. Uh, Luke and the Rebellion, who fly in. They manage to do some damage and get them out of there. And they're like, we've never seen people like you before. Like, who are you? And they're like... We're, you know, we're the Justice League of America. And they're like, excuse me, is that the planet you're from, America? And he's like, oh, you guys don't know what's... Because they're, like, so used to people dealing with the multiverse. They're like, oh, you've you've never encountered the multiverse, have you? And that's when Luke is like, excuse me? <laughs> um, so Superman just suggests, take us to your leaders and we will, you know, take us to your leaders and we will... Um, We'll explain everything. Like, we will explain what's going on. So, Superman Superman and the Justice League arrive at the bait. It's not Hoth yet. Remember, they only re it, during Empire Strikes Back, they say they recently reached Hoth. Um, and during this time, Superman explains to the rebellion, to the rebel leaders, that, you know, we come from another universe. An, an enemy of ours named Darkseid has arrived, and we believe he's working with your enemies, the Galactic Empire. We don't know why, but we're going to find out. So we will, uh, if you help us defeat Darkseid, we can, uh, you know, we can stop him from whatever he's trying to do. Meanwhile, Darkseid is, uh, is meets Emperor Palpatine, and uh, Vader's already like, I don't trust, you know, I don't trust this guy. And, Dar and Palpatine is like, it's not a matter of trust, my apprentice. It's a matter of power. And Darkseid is power. And that's when Darkseid goes, no, Darkseid is. So, Darkseid, you know, Darkseid and Palpatine talk about, like, you know, they're talking about the Force, and Dark and Darkseid brings up the point of, I want to use the this dark side of the Force, yeah, this dark side of the Force to power a machine that can um, harness the power of the anti-life equation. So... Yeah, and <laughs> that's what happens, is that um, with the, pa like, um, Palpatine is very interested in this idea for the, uh, for the anti-life, because now he's like, yeah, I can, we can, and he even tells Vader, like, now we can have power over life and death, as you always wanted, my old friend, and Vader's like, okay, because Vader's like, oh, if we have the, finally have the power over life and death, that means I can have Padme. Um, so Vader is tasked with helping Darkseid, um, construct his, uh, construct his machine and harness the power of the dark side, of the dark side. It's going to be confusing. Yes, I know. Meanwhile, the, uh, the, um, uh, the Empire is like, yeah, we're aware of this Justice League that followed Darkseid and we're going to deal with them our own way. Henceforth, they send bounty hunters. Yeah, they send out the bounty hunters this is where we would get, like, a Batman versus Boba Fett fight. We would get... Like, if this was an actual comic, this is where we'd get Batman fighting Boba Fett. And it would probably be really cool. <laughs> um, so we get Batman versus Boba Fett. Um, how... I would even have, like... This would just be the part where I'd just be thinking of, like, random scenes throughout the story. Where it'd just be, like, Hal creates, like, a galactic... Like, a, re a rebel fleet construct. Um... Yeah, things like that. I like even like kind of talk about like magic and how it differentiates from the force. You know, uh, certain elements like that. But anyway, so anyway, as I getting back on the main story, um, the rebellion and the Justice League unite to reach this planet that they have um, 
they've designated will have enough energy to power um, Darkseid's machine, um, his anti-life machine. And that planet is Korriban, the home world of the Sith. So, yep, not Exegol, not Moraband, Korriban. Okay? Anybody got a problem with that? No? Okay, we're moving on. So, using Korriban, um, Darkseid plans to harness the power of light and dark, but he needs one more um, element, and he believes he can get it from the Skywalker boy, and that is the power of, you know, the Force as, like, a conduit. He was thinking of using Vader, but Palpatine was like, nah, I still need him. You can use, you can use the boy, though. And in that moment, when the Justice League and the Rebellion arrive to do battle with, you know, the dark, you know, with the members of Apocalypse and the Galactic Empire, Vader has this moment where um, Superman and Luke are fighting Darkseid and him, and Vader actually turns on Darkseid, strikes him with his lightsaber, um, and wounds him, and actually destroys the machine, and, and uh, in doing so, because he has that moment of, I'm not gonna kill my own son. And, um, because he has that moment of, if I do this, I can bring back Padme, but in order to do this, I will lose my son. And that's, like, the first, like, moment of light for Vader. Just that small moment of light for Vader. But really, it's more like, I'm going to convert my son and make him it, bring back the rule of two. We'll rule the galaxy as father and son. That whole shebang. But it's, like, that first step for Vader to be good. Um, for his, like, eventual turn to the light, uh, turn back to the light. Anyway, so Vader is, is so Darkseid is defeated. The Justice League take him back, and the New Gods arrive to take Darkseid back to Apocalypse. Whole shebang. Everyone goes home. All all good. As for like other like random scenes, I would love to have is like um, Bat. You know, actually, Hal Jordan create like Hal Jordan piloting the Millennium Falcon. Admit it, he's a pilot, and also him and Han Solo would just have the biggest dick measuring concept. Uh, contest either also han would you all know han would be just losing his like why do they gotta wear these stupid tights like this is stupid what kind of uniforms are those yeah we get it you're you're it's an s we get it so anyway so you guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of this star wars justice league crossover just let me know in the comments below other than that hope you all enjoyed this i'm mr multiverse i'll see you next time in multiverse